But people may not understand your praise, but your praise is your divine fingerprint. Free indeed. That's what the sun did for you. Set you free. No more bondage. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and let us be glad in it. Now, God loves you. And you have tuned into this broadcast because of the Holy Spirit drawing you and because God desires to encourage you and let you know that God indeed loves you. Through his son, we go boldly to the throne of grace and receive the word of God. And that word that he sent forth quickens our motor body and gives us life, the Christ life. Glory to God. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your presence today. I thank you for loving us. I thank you that you sent your word, Lord God. I thank you that you are great and you are faithful and you guide us into all truth. In Jesus' name, thank you for blessing those who have tuned in, Lord God, because you knew them before they were formed in their mother's womb, Lord God. And I thank you for blessing me in Jesus' name as well as my family and my friends. In Jesus' name, amen. So, blessings to you. Okay, let's just get right into the word of God today. The word of God is God's will for us to prosper, be in good health, even as our soul prosper. So the first scripture I would like for you to really meditate on would be 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 8 through 10. Walking in divine health is a manifestation from the Holy Spirit. You must meditate on that and know that. According to 3 John and 2, healing is a benefit from the Lord. And like the Word of God says, He desires for us to prosper, to be in good health, even as our soul prospers. So you have to sell it in your mind that it is God's will for you to prosper, be in good health, even as your soul prosper. Okay? So glory to God. Healing is a benefit from God and walking in divine health is a manifestation from the Holy Spirit. Sickness is a consequences of sin and part of the curse we have been redeemed from the curse of the law through the precious blood of jesus christ meditate on the scriptures galatians 3 13 meditate on the scriptures to let you know that first john 3 and and 5 know that jesus came to destroy the works of the devil and he did just that all glory to god so it is god's will for you to prosper to be in good health even as your soul prosper glory to God. So again, meditate on the fact that we have, on the truth that we have been redeemed from the curse of the law. Okay? Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil and he did that. Glory to Jesus. Jesus went all about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Jesus went about healing all who were oppressed of the devil. Okay? Who oppressed them? The devil. And Jesus came to do what? Destroy the works of the devil. So you have to sell it in your mind that it is God's will for you to prosper, be in good health, even as your soul prosper. And to know that it is not God's will for you to be oppressed by the devil. That is a consequence of sin that Jesus has already dealt with. Understand that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And Christ's life quickens the mortal body, bringing healing. Sell it in your heart right now. Receive that God's will is for you to prosper and be in good health even as your soul prosper. Glory to God. So Jesus went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Jesus is the same yesterday and today and forever. Glory to God. In Christ is the fullness of the Godhead. In Christ is the fullness of the Godhead. Meditate on that. In Christ is the fullness of the Godhead. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Meditate on Isaiah 9 and 6. For unto us a son is born, a son is given. He shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Meditate on that. Meditate on in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld the glory of God the Father as the Son. Meditate on that. When Jesus said, when you see me, you see the Father. When you see the Father, you see me. Understand that we, glory to God, he says, I am one. One. Understand that God is one. Three manifestations, but yet one. And in Christ is the fullness of the Godhead. Don't be ignorant about who God is, okay? Understand that he is the great I am. And his de desire for you is to prosper, be in good health, even as your soul prosper. Get it? Got it? Good, okay? 
Glory to God. The word of God is true. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So Jesus came, manifest in the flesh, God in the flesh, to destroy the works of the devil, to heal all who were oppressed of the devil. Then it is still God's will for you to be healed and whole today. Today. God in his word. Glory to God. So Jesus destroyed the works of the devil on the cross. Get it? Understand that. He destroyed the works of the devil. Disarm principality powers, rulers of darkness, wickedness in high places on the cross. Okay? So we are children of promise. Okay? We are no longer children of wrath. And sickness is not from God. Sickness is not from God to teach you something. Understand that. Sickness is not from God to teach you something. We are no longer children of wrath. Jesus bore the wrath, the hatred, the hatred that Father God has for sin on the cross. Jesus took the wrath of God. And understand that God manifests in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto Gentiles, believed on in the world, and was received up in glory. Understand that Jesus put laid down his life because he had the power to pick it up. Understand that God in his word one, understand that Jesus was born of a virgin, manifest, God manifest in the flesh. So he bore, the Bible tells us God purchased us with his own blood. Woo, glory to God. When you meditate on that, that will set you free. God became flesh to bleed for you, to pay for you, to shed blood for you, for your sins. Okay? For our sins, he did that. He loves us that much. So understand that Jesus is the same yesterday and today and forever. And sickness is not punishment for God to teach you something. We are no longer children of wrath, Romans 5 and 9, but children of promise. God has given us the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says he will pour out his Holy Spirit on all flesh. So therefore, all you have to do is come boldly to the throne of grace through Jesus Christ, the Son. Receive him. Receive forgiveness of your sins. Repent and receive his righteousness and know that God has paid the price for you to be whole. Ignorance of the covenant of God, ignorance of the benefits of God affect your peace. Okay, Matthew 13 and 5, 58, putting up with sickness as if it is God's will for you is what the devil would, would really uh, uh, want you to do. But but God is faithful. God abides faithful. So know that in Christ you have the authority in his name. You have his spirit in Christ is the fullness of God here in Christ in you, the hope of glory, Colossians 1 and 27. So Christ is in you. So the power of the Holy Spirit is within you. If you've received the Lord Jesus Christ, know that the power of God is inside of you. God works in you to will and to do his good pleasure. Glory to God. So putting up with something that God has already redeemed you from is point blank, period, ignorance. Okay, so you don't, you don't... Uh, don't receive anything that is not from God. And understand that the word of God is true. God's word is true. He is the same yesterday. He is the same today. And he is forever. So you sell it in your heart that this is the will of God that I am healed. I am healed. Say that. I am healed. I am protected. I am loved with an everlasting love. I am covered. You say that out of your mouth. You say it out of the abundance of heart. Your mouth will speak. Out of the abundance of your heart, your mouth will speak. Okay? Speak the word of God. The angels hearken to the voice of God's word, and God's word shall not return unto him void. And God is faithful unto all generations. Glory to God. His word is settled in heaven, and his faithfulness is unto all generations. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. Submit that to God's word that he loves you with an everlasting love. Submit to God's word that he redeems you from the curse of the law. Submit to God's word. Submit to, if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. The word became flesh, dwelt among us. Submit to God. Submit to God. Receive his son today if you have not. Glory to God. So God is faithful. The anointing destroys the works of the devil. The anointing destroys the yokes and removes the burdens. Isaiah 10 and 27. Those who have been 
harassed by the devil, the Lord Jesus rebuke you. Satan. The Lord Jesus rebuke you, Satan. By the Spirit of Christ, you can say that boldly, according to Galatians 4 and 6, that God has sent the Spirit of His Son in our heart that we are able to cry out, Abba, Father. So he that is joined to the Lord is one spirit with Him. So by the Spirit of Christ, you speak the Word of God. Satan, the Lord Jesus, rebuke you. In the name of Jesus, you have no place. In the name of Jesus, you have no place. Woo! Glory to God. The Holy Spirit covers. The Holy Spirit released to you. Receive that. Glory to God. God's word is true. Satan, the Lord Jesus, rebuke you, you spirit of fear. You have no place. For the Lord delivered us from all fears. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, you are set free. And who the Son sets free is free indeed. Who the Son sets free is free indeed. Receive that you are have been made free and free indeed. Glory to God. So continue, we'll continue to go through the Word of God in spirit and truth. The Word of God is here for you to know God's way, God's will. And when you receive the Word of God, receive it as it is the Word of God. When you receive the Word of God from us, it is written, 1 Thessalonians 2.13, you thank God. You receive, we thank God that you receive the word, not as words from mere men, not as words of me just saying these things, but as it is the word of God. That's why I give you scripture. That's why I give you verse text. So you can go back and receive the word of God as it is. When I speak the word of God, receive it. I know this package may be, oh, hey, you, when you, for example, you go to the mailbox, you receive the mail. You're not looking up and down the mailman. You receive your mail. Glory to God. And I'm telling you, Jesus is Lord and Jesus loves you. Don't look. I know. Hey, peculiar treasure that I am. But glory to God, the word of God is God. So receive it today. Jesus loves you with an everlasting love. And if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as Lord, what are you waiting for? God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. And if you have not subscribed to at Yolanda Form, make sure you do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will be notified for future videos. Have a blessed day. Jesus rebuked Corbett on the cross and we receive the victory. God has not given us a spirit of fear but power, love, and a sound mind. In the name of Jesus, you are are healed receive that in jesus name blessings I'm covered to you. by the blood of jesus christ i am in christ jesus i am loved by father god i am forgiven i'm saved by grace through faith of the son of god i am a child of god i am redeemed from the curse of the law i am in christ jesus I am delivered from the power of darkness. By Jesus Christ, I am healed. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. I am covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. I am in Christ Jesus. I am loved by Father God. I am forgiven. I am saved by grace through faith of the Son of God. I am a child of God. I am redeemed from the curse of the law. I am in Christ Jesus. I am delivered from the power of darkness. By Jesus Christ, I am healed. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. I am covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. I am in Christ Jesus. I am loved by Father God. I am forgiven. I am saved by grace through faith of the Son of God. I am a child of God. I am redeemed from the curse of the law. I am in Christ Jesus. I am delivered from the power of darkness. By Jesus Christ, I am healed. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord.
Meditate on this. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord Jesus will be saved. Be assured of this. Jesus loves you with an everlasting love.